Hello everyone, it's now Thursday the 15th of December 2022 and yes, it's time again to have a look what's inside my advent calendars because I'm leaning on it. We'll start with Molten Brown today. Yesterday was another winner with the Recharge Black Pepper fragrance. So, what are we going to get in drawer number 15? Got to find it first. Ah, there it is, right at the top. Before I open drawer number 15, a shout out to my big brother who's celebrating a milestone birthday in December. I'm not going to say how old he is, but it makes me feel very, very old. I am the youngest, of course, and most attractive of the brothers. <laughs> We're not very attractive in our family. Anyway, so cooey to you and I'm not going to say your name because he's very shy but don't forget me in your will will you right <laughs> I'm not joking don't forget me right here's number 15 oh, I've already started opening it it's another biggish bottle another travel size there's still you you do get a lot of use out of these smaller bottles unless you decide to oh it's another shampoo so mm, yeah not much hair, really. So, um, oh, I like that though. It's got a doodah. I didn't notice that on the other shampoo. It probably did. It's got a little, oh, a little pop-up doobry. But you don't need much. You don't need much molten brown. But this is a different shampoo. Um, it's a volumizing shampoo with nettle. So I hope it doesn't sting. I think they'll have taken the sting out. Uh, yes, well, it would need to be very volumizing to make any difference to the hair on my head. Does it say anything about it? Oh, we've got some blurb, blurb to read. So we will read the blurb. For fine hair. Hair is beautifully cleansed and boosted with weightless care, giving you fuller, healthy looking strands and a shiny soft finish. Enriched with sustainably sourced fresh nettle, hydroponically grown in London's underground tunnels, inspired by our heritage of creating natural hair care in our original Mayfair salon. Wow. So basically, I think Moulton Brown is saying, this is grown in the sewers underneath their shop to give you fuller, lovelier, softer hair. Oh, I haven't smelt it, have I? Will it smell of nettle? I wonder if there's a, a dock leaf conditioner that goes with it. <laughs> I can't really describe the smell. Um, it's certainly unisex. Men or ladies or non-binary folk can use that with no trouble. So there we go. It's a, you know, Molten Brown don't know of no hair. But if you have hair, I'm sure that will give you lovely volumized curls. So that's it for the Molten Brown for day number 15. It's now time to see what Tracy and Kimberly have been up to in the Playmobil townhouse. Oh, you've fallen over again. Or have you been asleep, Kimberly? You can let go of that bag now, Trace. Come on. Just can you, you want to sit down? Well, Kimberly can sit down. That's good. In her posh party dress. Put that handbag down. Right then, you two. What have we got behind door number 15? <gasps> oh, this is going to be exciting. It is a huge... Is it going to be exciting or is it... <laughs> it could remind me of the Christmas way back when I saved the biggest present till last one year. I remember it well. I thought, oh, it's the biggest box. It's got to be the best. But oh... Big things don't always come in big packages. Um, well, yes, they do sometimes. That doesn't make any sense. Big things do come in big packages. Small things come in small packages. Um, what am I trying to say here? Big is not always better. Most cases, it is, it is best to have big in many cases. Um, but anyway, in the case of this particular Christmas, my biggest present, although it was was fun and an iconic game, but it, I don't know what I was expecting, but it was Mousetrap. You should still buy, I believe, the Mousetrap game. So um, that's what I got. So here we go, here's number 15. 
let's see what's inside. Oh, crikey, I think it's another piece of furniture, although we can do with another piece of furniture. Certainly for downstairs, we need something to put those uh, flowers on, don't we? I think this could be a sideboard, perhaps. A sideboard? Oh, crikey. Oh, it's a hi-fi, it's a hi-fi unit. As well as, it's it's got cupboards, but I think we've got a hi-fi. So now, when Tracy has one of her gentleman callers round, she can put some sort of romantic music on and she's got the candles now isn't she we've got candles she can have candlelight romantic music she's got some lovely fragrance she can put on her armpits and then she can serenade her bow mm. well let's assemble this and uh, pop it in the house here's the little sideboard with space for some hi-fi separates no speakers though so i'm wondering if we're going to get some speakers behind a later window, hopefully, because how are we going to hear the music from the CD player? And we've also got a couple of opening cupboards. So uh, we can put all sorts of bits and pieces in there out the way. So I think this does belong downstairs for the more entertaining space. So um, for the time being, I'm going to pop it along this wall. Yes, I think just there. And the flowers, they can just go in the middle. Whoops. Well, oh, that's some of the lotions and potions. They should really be upstairs in the dressing area, but well, I'll leave those there for now. I'll just put that there just for now. So now Tracy and Kimberly can listen to the music center. Well, as soon as some speakers turn up. The girls seem very pleased with their hi-fi separates and looking very closely, it seems that they are Amstrad brand hi-fi separates. So don't expect high fidelity from those. Anyway, enjoy your new toy and I'll see you two tomorrow. It's KWB time again. So we're looking for 15. Oh, looks like we're going into Santa's neck. I mean, I would, would you? I'm not keen on the tats, but he seems to be quite a buff Santa. I mean, when you think about it, the Santa that we know, the rather rotund Santa or clinically obese Santa, how does he get down those chimneys being as plump as he is or big boned? This muscular trimmer Santa would certainly have no trouble getting down my chimney or yours, I suspect. Well, not that I, I don't have a chimney, but I'm sure if I leave the door ajar, he'll be able to sneak through. Anyway, we're going to be encroaching on Santa's neck there. So um, without any further ado, let's just get in there. And I'm going to do the old trick from yesterday and, and try and push through the backs back of it there we go that's easier <gasps> oh I know where that's going I've got a slot for that I'm pretty sure I know where that uh, will be going in the tool case and I believe oh, it seems like many many moons ago I mentioned a shaft that we were missing. Yes, and that looks like that's the shaft I need. So let's open the case. Ah, yes, that's definitely where it goes. Well, this is where it's going to live, for sure. Yes, look, it's starting to come together. I have a feeling if we take out this part here, Oh, no, I got that wrong. It doesn't have anything to do with that bit. Hmm. Oh, well, it doesn't have anything to do with the, the sockets either. Probably the screwdriver bit. It does fit the screwdriver bits. Ah, oh, but then does it fit? Hang on. No, it still doesn't fit that. No matter how much I try, it's not going to fit that. 
So I think we might be getting, I think we might be getting a, an actual screwdriver that this will slot into, possibly in this space here, who knows? So yeah, that's what that's for anyway. So that can go in there again and pop that screwdriver bit back there. So there you go. Another item for the KWB Tools Advent Calendar. I was about to remind you to tune in same time, same place tomorrow for another Advent reveal, including the Fat Face 12 Days of Socks. And it's falling to bits. I've put some tape on the upper levels of this tree, but that's coming apart and now the bottom's dropped off. <laughs> it's not very sturdy, folks. Every time I touch it to open up another window, something else falls out. So it's going to be more industrial strength glue and tape to keep the base on but uh, yes tomorrow there will be another sock reveal uh draw number uh, door number eight there it'll be the 16th tomorrow so it'll be a sock behind that bell-shaped bauble number eight so tune in for that if you like the socks but of course apart from the socks another tool be will be revealed for the kwb toolkit something else for the playmobil townhouse and just behind me another gorgeous goodie from the molten brown advent calendar so please join me then see you all tomorrow same time same place bye for now